Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Welcome to video number 6 in the IC7100 from A to Z series. I was planning to start covering the memories in more detail this time, but as I was preparing for the video, I discovered that the firmware in my rig really needs to be updated. The video that you're seeing now shows you the menu steps to determine the version in your rig. Since I needed to do the update anyway, I decided it might be good to go through the process with you so you can see how it's done. The ICOM website and the update instructions have multiple warnings that make the process sound a little bit scary. But the process actually went pretty smoothly for me, so let's take a look. Okay, so first we're going to go get the firmware for the 7100. So we are on the ICOM America page in English and we are going to go over here to resources and then we are going to scroll down and find the IC7100 and in the middle of the page here you see firmware updates. So we'll click on firmware updates which takes us to the ICOM Japan site thankfully still in English for me at least and we're going to type in the 7100 on here and search and here are all of the downloads for the 7100 and we can see that there are five firmware updates the most recent of which was way back in 2016 but I have never updated the firmware on this radio so we're gonna click on that update and this gives us the firmware download page this tells us some major changes there could be others but this is major changes it improved the power meters visibility it improved the speech compressor function and then there's some warnings about never turning the power off while you're doing the update and this says that the main CPU is updated to version 1.11 and the DSP IF frequency processor is updated to 1.03 and these are several versions newer than what I have in my radio so uh, and I did go look at some of the previous updates and there's some other useful things that were done in those but this should be a cumulative update which will have everything that those had so we're going to download the thoroughly read firmware update instructions right here which brings us to another download page and this one has again a bunch of things we need to agree to here and warnings and so on and so forth and our choice is to agree to this or not download them. So we're going to download those and they come up in the browser because it's just a PDF file. So I'm going to save that and I've got a 7100 folder I've already set up for this so we'll save that there and that brings it up in Adobe which I don't need right now so we're going to close that page because we don't need that and we just downloaded the instructions so we don't need that and now we will scroll down to the bottom of the firmware download page and again more things to agree to here and stuff that tells you that if you damage your radio you may have to send it to ICOM for repair so we're going to agree to this and we are going to download the actual firmware. So we'll save that. Alright, that's downloaded. Now let's take a quick look at those, whoops, wrong program. <coughs> let's take a quick look at the program, or the file that we downloaded. And I'm going to use 7-zip to unzip it and so we have an executable and a DLL and some init file so we're gonna run this program to actually do the update 
So right now, I'm going to go off and read those instructions that they said are so important. And perhaps you might want to download them and read them yourself if you're planning on doing this update. And then I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we have run the software. I read through the firmware update instructions. I'm going to suggest that you read through all of those instructions before you do this. And the first thing the software does is give you this very stern warning that if you mess this up, you're going to brick your radio and you're going to have to send it to ICOM to be repaired. And even if your radio is under warranty, you're still going to have to pay. So they just want to make sure you understand that you have to do this correctly. Now, don't get too scared by that. It's really not that hard. But if you pull power from the radio or something like that happens, it's going to mess up. So, I'm going to agree to the above. Now, when updating the firmware, do not have anything connected to the remote jack on the rear panel of the radio, which I don't. Connect the 7100 and the PC using the USB cable, and I have one of those connected over here. So the rig is connected to my laptop. And then while holding down the Auto-Tune, XFC, and DR, push the power button to turn the power on and check that the RX indicator is blinking. I'm going to make a confession here. I tried recording this like three times before this, and I was actually pushing the tuner button instead of the auto-tune button over here and couldn't figure out what was going on and why it wasn't working. So, we all make mistakes. <laughs> Myself especially. Okay, so let's try this. So, XFC, uh, get my fingers in a row here, auto-tuner, DR, and power. Okay, so the radio has come up in firmware update mode it's showing what they show on the screen and the RX indicator is blinking so let's click OK and go to the next step updating the firmware it will take approximately eight minutes do not turn the power off until the completed message is displayed do I wish to start the firmware update yes Okay, updating the firmware, please wait a while, and then you can see the progress bar going on the bottom. And I am not going to make you suffer through this entire eight minutes, so we'll take a pause here while this continues to update. Do, 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 of course, the one other thing that the instructions tell you is that you should disable or turn off any other programs in Windows while you're doing this. And of course, I am recording two video streams while I'm doing this, so hopefully I don't end up bricking my radio here. Okay, we have hit 100%. Update. Oh, now it's updating the controller CPU. Okay, that was just one. So you can see here that the M CPU is now up to 1.11. So, part one is done. Okay, and now we can see the controller has jumped up to version 1.10. Firmware update is completed. Woo. All right, our update is complete. Let's go just take a look here in the radio and we will go to the settings and we'll go down to others, information, version, and ISP is up to 1.03, controller is 1.10, and the main CPU is 1.11. Looks like we have successfully updated 
R7100. After that finished, I did check out the rig, and everything seems to be working normally, so it seems like a successful update. That's all we're going to cover this time. Next time, we'll get back to covering the memory functions and options. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a click on the like button. If you find the channel useful, please consider subscribing. If you want to be notified about new episodes, just click on that bell icon once you've subscribed. I'm always happy to see suggestions, questions, corrections, or any other thoughts in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.